hello and welcome guys so in this video we are going to start building our model so if you are new to this video then please watch this playlist from beginning now to start building our model we are going to use convolutional neural network okay so if you don't know convolutional neural network i have already attached in this playlist the theoretical part of convolutional neural network how convolutional neural network work so you can go and watch that video okay so let me show you exactly what we are doing so i will use convolutional neural network cheat sheet from here you can understand it better so this is our convolutional neural network it consists of mainly three layers first one is this convolutional layer it's a filter we will apply this filter on this and it will give us feature map okay feature map is basically the feature vector it will give for each filter it will give corresponding feature map okay and then we will perform this pooling operation in which whatever feature map we got from here we will uh, perform max pooling like here it's uh, 2 cross 2 so in this 2 cross 2 it will go and uh, extract the maximum value and it will put in separate matrix okay so uh, there is uh, various pooling techniques like max pooling average pooling in average pooling it will take average okay and it will take average of this 2 cross 2 and put in separate matrix and later we are whatever we are getting from here uh, after this max pooling first we do this uh, convolutional uh, layer we will apply this filter and we will get feature map and then we will apply this uh, max pooling technique and then whatever we got from there we will flatten this and feed to our traditional neural network which consists of various hidden layers and output layers okay so this is the high level uh, intuition of this uh, convolutional neural network if you want detail then you can watch that video in that video i have explained this entire concept in very detailed manner why we are doing this and uh, like for feature extraction we are doing and this thing entire thing i have explained so you can watch from there so i am using the concept of convolutional neural network here so before starting this we have to import some libraries so let me go at the top here we are doing all the imports of libraries we will import some required libraries here so first library i want is all the layers i want so i will write here from tensorflow from tensorflow dot keras press tab you will get the suggestion from tensorflow dot keras dot layers i want to import what layers i want to import first is con 2d okay and second is max pool max pool 2d i want because we are dealing with two dimensional array which is matrix and second is third is this flatten for flattening part and this dense layer to construct the hidden layer and i also want drop out layer so that there is no overfitting in the model okay so this is what we need and uh, also we need optimizer so i am importing from tensorflow from tensorflow dot keras dot optimizer dot here i am using legacy because i am using mac here but if you are not using mac then don't use that okay just use optimizer that is enough and from that you have to import adam okay adam optimizer if you are not using mac so don't use this only up to here you have to do and you will be able to import this adam optimizer but i am using mac so i am using this thing to boost my training performance okay so we have successfully imported this i have run this cell okay now let's start building our model first we have to define our model and in model we have to import something from tensorflow stf we have already done here okay so i have to use tf dot keras dot models dot sequential class this thing i have to use this this will give us a sequential type of model because in convolutional neural, neural network we have bunch of sequential layer like in this sequential model we have a uh, convolutional layer we have max pooling layer we have hidden layer we have dropouts lots of things are there that's why i am using this sequential okay and then what i will do i will see the shape of uh, x train let me see that here because i am going to feed this information so 
let me show you this so this is the shape if i if i show you this uh, x train we have this x train okay so inside this x train if i show you the shape then we will get like this but we want the sh we want this value so i am writing here zero so that we got the exact shape of our uh, each training example okay so this is the shape of my training example which we which we will going to feed to our neural network okay now i will add first i will perform model dot add and inside this i will add this con 2d and this con 2d will accept this filters which we have talked in our theoretical part so i am passing the filter as 32 first and then kernel size is it will accept and kernel size i am passing as 3 padding i am passing as uh, same here padding is equal to same why we are doing this so that whatever if we are applying some convolutional operation then after that we want the same matrix that's why we are using here padding is equal to same and uh, activation function i am passing relu okay and uh, input shape activation function and all we have discussed in detail okay you can watch from there input shape so here we we are going to pass this information that's why we have experimented here so that to to uh, cross check that whether we are passing the exact thing or something else okay so we will pass here this information and then we'll close this entire thing okay so this is uh, this is what we are going to do okay and then we will construct one more the same thing okay model dot add we will do and we will construct the same thing whatever we have done but this time we will not take input shape because first layer will take your input shape and later we are uh, adding all the layer on the top of that okay so in first layer input shape input data will come and after that all the layers are attached with that okay so we don't have to pass that thing again and again so this is our second convolutional layer okay and then what we will do and then we will create one max pool layer max pool 2d we will create it will accept pool size pool size is the that 2 cross 2 okay so here i am passing 2 same i am considering strides what is strides i have also i have discussed in detail in my tutorial video of cnn you can watch from there okay we have created this two convolutional layer and one max pooling layer okay now again we will create this thing okay so i am copying this thing from here and uh, same we will do and two times we will create again here okay so i am writing this why i am doing like this because i have already experimented on different different architecture and on this architecture i am getting good result that's why i am uh, using this thing okay one more thing here we will pass only padding to the first layer we will not pass th this to second layer okay so i am removing this part from here okay because after this we will get the same thing and after second convolutional operation we will uh, we will reduce that matrix because if every time we will pass that padding is equal to same then every time we will get the same matrix then we are not able to decrease our matrix and uh, work of this convolutional layer is to decrease and extract only the relevant information okay so that's why for first time we will uh, pass this padding is equal to same and for second layer we will not do that okay so that we extract more information from that okay if i remove from here also then we will get very less information okay so for one time we are doing that and for second lay in second layer we are not doing that okay so that's why we are constructing like this okay now what we will do i will use this thing again here okay so here we have on uh, this 264 uh, filters and uh, pool size will be same okay and here we have this padding is equal to same and we here we don't have padding is equal to same okay so the same pattern we will follow two three times here again i am constructing the same thing and uh, here padding is equal to same here not padding is equal to same okay and here i will change this filter and here i will add 128 filter now in this part okay again i will do the same thing here and i will add 256 filter here okay and again i will do the same thing here 
and I will add 512 filter okay so this thing I will add and after this 128 after this three operation I also have to deal with the problem of overfitting so I will add here dropout layer so I will add here dropout dropout layer and I will give here 0.3 so that it will drop 30% of the neurons from that and then again I will add this uh, dropout layer of this two cell okay so, and after that what I will do I will do this flattening operation from here and then let me create more cell here after flattening we are ready to construct our hidden layer so I will do here model dot add and I will add this dense layer and in this dense layer it will accept units which is neurons and it will take I am giving here 1200 I have done experiment on different different values of neuron and I am getting good result on this so I am giving here 1200 and ReLU activation function to speed up the performance because sigmoid function is very costly so we are using here ReLU function and then I will add again one more dropout layer to deal with overfitting okay and here I am giving dropout as 0.45 I am giving okay and then what we will do after that we'll uh, add our final output layer okay output layer in this output layer I will write model dot add and in dense units I will give uh, as length of classes which is 10 okay and this is very important and uh, I will add here activation function as softmax because here we are dealing with multi-class problem so we will add here softmax activation function if it is binary classification problem then we will add here sigmoid function but here we have 10 classes more than 2 classes so we are adding softmax function so this is our model okay and to see the model exactly how our model looks so to see the architecture we can do here model dot summary okay let me run this cell and show you okay so I am running from here so we have successfully created our sequential model and after that we are passing this information first time we are using this input shape 32 32 filter here we here we are using in first we are doing padding is equal to same so that after applying filter we are getting this exact same shape okay and after that in second uh, convolutional layer we are reducing that uh, matrix and then we are applying max pooling same we are repeating okay so padding same padding not same then max pool then again padding same padding not same and max pool so same for 128 filter also then drop out okay then 256 filter then 512 filter then again drop out then flattening 1200 uh, neurons in hidden layers then drop out again then output and then model dot summary so this is what we are getting okay so right now we are getting this uh, if you see we are getting 55.52 mb of parameters so total parameters are this much 55.52 mb parameters so it's coming from here this is 200 10 cross 210 uh, if you uh, see this thing that after applying first convolutional operation we are getting the same thing okay why because we have done their padding is equal to same and then after applying second convolutional which is without padding padding is equal to same then we are reducing that matrix from 210 to 208 okay and here our uh, features are also get increasing it means that whatever training example we are taking 32 relevant uh, corresponding feature get created for that okay so after applying this we are reducing that thing with this 208 and then we are applying this max pooling it's also reducing our matrix and later we are applying that second convolutional operation which is not reducing because we have done padding is also same and then after applying that uh, second without padding do is equal to same we are reducing it and then we are again reducing with max pooling then we are not reducing then we are again reducing and the again reducing so this pattern we are following here so so this total parameter size basically depends on this uh, shape of our input parameters okay 
this 200 10 cross 200 because of this we are getting this much big numbers 55.52 mb of uh, um, total parameters exist in this architecture okay now in the next video what we are going to do in the next video we will perform the training of this uh, architecture and also we will improve this architecture so in this video i hope you understand that how we are building this architecture okay this architecture is totally built uh, we are building from scratch uh, we are not using any present architecture like uh, resnet or anything we are entire thing we are building from scratch using tensorflow okay so in this video we have uh, done these things also i have seen lots of comment on this that uh, something like uh, none comma one and none comma ten are in incompatible shape something lots of them are facing after this after after training so why it's happening because their their shape is not compatible here we are passing 10 classes so we have to put our labels in this shape if we don't put this thing here if we don't convert this into the shape of this then definitely we will face some issue okay so that's why we are doing this this part we are converting it into one hot encoding and then we are splitting our data set so that later when we are going to perform training then we track the model performance by seeing the test set which is not um, known to our model and it will perform some evaluation on that and it will give us the accuracy result on test set uh, we will see the performance or, of our model while training so that's why we are splitting this data set into test training set and test set and then we are building this architecture and i hope you understand the meaning of this padding is equal to same here okay so this entire thing we are doing here okay so we are getting this much of total parameters present so in the next video we are going to perform the training of this model i hope you like this video thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video we will meet in next video